everyone so i've never filmed a video like this before and i did not think i was gonna film this until next month but i think it's time and i am going to try sleep train rena starting tonight rena is five months and a half she's gonna be uh six months on the fourth and honestly i was not going to sleep train her until she was at least six months old just because um i have a hard time hearing her cry and she just seems so little still that i felt like she wouldn't be able to comprehend um learning how to sleep on her own yet her sleep is not terrible i would say um most of the time she wakes up two three times a night but just talking to some friends recently and seeing some videos i realized that her sleep isn't that great um and i know all babies are different my mom said that i woke up every hour until i was a year old but i feel like at this age she should be able to make up longer stretches without eating and i think i created some bad habits um by always feeding her to sleep she does sleep in her crib right here never slept with me just because i sleep better when knowing that she's not gonna get smashed um but every time she woke up i assumed she was hungry and so i fed her i think i didn't know but i think that is a reason why she always has to eat now every time she wakes up in the middle of the night her sleeping pattern is a very inconsistent when she was born it was very consistent it was 12 3 6 she's awake but now it's been um all over the place she sleeps around 8 o'clock 8 30 it really depends and then sometimes she'll wake up in two hours sometimes she'll go five hours six hours sometimes uh, she'll wake up every three hours sometimes she will wake up way more than that and sometimes she surprises me and makes it all the way till 4 a.m without eating so it's a very very random and just knowing that she made it to 4 a.m before i know that she isn't hungry and she's probably just depending on being fed to go back to sleep and so starting tonight i think i'm going to try uh sleep train her i have no idea what kind of method i'm going to use i really don't think i can handle cry it out just yet Her naps have been so-so uh, this month. I don't know. Um, it's been really different. She's been taking short naps. She's been taking like five to six 30 minute naps throughout the day. Um, and since I work from home, it's not too much of a big deal, but I feel like maybe that's affecting her and I really don't know how to fix that. Sorry, I keep rambling, but I'm just like so nervous. Yeah, but we will get back to you guys tonight at around 8 o'clock. Yeah, she's the lucky. Okay, hi guys. So it is the next day. And as you can tell, I am smiling. <laughs> because she did pretty well last night. Um, we tried the three minute five minute five minute the Ferber method last night first 10 minutes she was rolling around playing and then she realized that was gone um and so she started whimpering like making all these mm, sounds and then and but she wasn't really crying and so i didn't go in for a good like 13 minutes or so um and then her pacifier came out and that's when she started kind of um crying but it wasn't loud cries and i went to go put it in she was crying a little bit for three minutes so i went back in and i soothed her um i rubbed her back and that made her feel better but she was still crying a little bit i went out for five minutes um and then i was about to go back in and she fell asleep so the whole process it took like 30 minutes but 
um, half of it she wasn't really crying and that all the cries weren't as bad it was just crying like she wasn't um, comfortable being by herself but it wasn't like screeching crying which was amazing yeah she fell asleep around 8 40 ish um which wasn't bad she woke up once around 10 30 but i put her pacifier back in and i left her back she went back to sleep she slept all the way till 3 30 and i fed her at 3 30 just because i know um she's pretty hungry by that time and she hasn't um, gone that long without eating in a while so i fed her she went straight back to sleep but she did wake up around five o'clock and six o'clock and six thirty <laughs> um, um crying but it wasn't loud cries again it was just a little bit of whining and so i put her pacifier back in and all three times she fell back asleep so in the end she did wake up a couple of times maybe four or five times but she only ate once which is the number one thing i was looking for which is uh, reducing her nighttime feedings so she did so awesome you're just so 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 awesome and then she just had her first nap of the day it's currently 10 30. um it was only 46 minutes long but it's not bad at all um she cried a little bit louder for this one, <laughs> but it wasn't bad. She fell asleep in about 15 minutes. Yeah, and she was sweating a little bit, but I, I kept patting her back, saying it's okay, and left the room. I made it dark. I'm not even sure if you're not supposed to make the room dark at um, during the daytime, but I think it helped her fall asleep. Yeah. I'm a little bit afraid though because I have work to go to today so the rest of her naps or at least one of them my mom will be doing it with her so hopefully her, my mom can soothe her yeah but hopefully this isn't a one-time thing sorry I look like a mess but it's just so hard like, she did so well in the previous nap she fell asleep in three minutes. She hasn't been sleeping long, so she's been a little bit fussy throughout the day. Um, but I think that's completely normal since she's adjusting to falling asleep on her own. But this past one, she was up for 30 minutes and she just was like wailing. Um, in the beginning, my mom had to put her down just because I had work. And so when I came to check on her, um, she was like screaming when she just saw me. So I couldn't, she was like hyperventilating. So I picked her up, I calmed her down for five minutes. Then I knew I can't hold her to sleep or else it's gonna ruin progress. So I put her back. And she started screaming again, but she's finally falling asleep. She such crying every so often, like every two minutes, but I think now she's completely asleep. So I'm just watching the monitor. But this is this is really tough. Like I don't know. I feel like it's not worth my sleep that night. I don't know. Okay. Hi everyone, sorry I look like a complete mess. It is in the afternoon. And this is what I look like in the afternoon. Um, but it's been quite a while since I made an update about her, her sleeping, sleep training progress. And to be honest, it hasn't been that bad. Um, her last nap is the worst, I would say. But all of her naps since day one, she's able to go down within 15 minutes. Um, and that 15 minutes not always crying either. Half the time she's rolling around or just whining. And there's only been a couple times where she was really, really screaming. And that's usually her last nap of the day. Um, on the third or fourth 
day I actually changed something up. Um, she took her last like cat nap at like 6.30 almost. Um, and I thought that that was way too late. And so, and so I decided on the third or fourth day to take that last nap out and see what would happen. Because that last nap was so late, her bedtime was around like 8.30. Um, but during the night, she slept great. She would sleep all the way till 3.30 eat and then go back to sleep till 7. Um, but I wanted to see uh, what would happen if I took that last nap out since it was really bad anyway. Um, and so she, her last nap was around 4 something and she was down for her sleep um, by like 7.15 or so. And that really messed with her sleeping cycle. I don't think she was ready for it. We tried it for two nights, but she kept waking up at like 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Not to eat, I only fed her once. Um, but she just kept waking up and I had to keep putting it in the pacifier. So I think that really um, got her schedule messed up. Um, and she woke up super early, like 5.30, just because she went to sleep earlier. Um, so last night, I decided to put it back. I let her have her last nap um, at 6, and the night was pretty great. Um, she woke up at 4.30 for her first um, nighttime feeding, and she slept till 7. Um, so I think I'm going to keep that 4th, 5th nap. It's really not consistent, but um, that last nap around 6 o'clock, I think it's pretty late, but I think it's working for her right now oh her naps are slowly getting longer um she used to take like six 30 minute naps but there's some naps throughout the day where she can go for almost two hours and then um but it's not all of them some of them are like cat naps 30 minute naps yesterday i had to take her to work um, and i made a dark room for her I tried my best to make it as similar. I took our sound machine there, um, but she was able to sleep even though it wasn't her crib. I thought she wouldn't be able to just because she was looking around everywhere, looking at the new things around the room, but I just patted her back and she went to sleep. Um, and there has been some naps where she went to sleep without even crying. She just rolled over and fell asleep. So it's been uh, pretty good. I also haven't increased the increments and in letting her try to self-soothe. For the Ferber method, I heard um, every day you just make it longer and longer uh, in between. Um, but I've been still keeping it at 3 minutes, 5 minutes, 5 minutes. So. <laughs> she slept through the night. I am completely shocked. I thought it was gonna go really bad because the last time we changed her nap schedule, it was really bad. Um, but she went down around 7:30. She did wake up a couple of times. I had to put her pacifier back in, um, but she made it without eating. She did wake up around 10 o'clock. I was like, oh shoot, it's been three hours. She is going to wake up now. But I put in her pacifier and she went back to sleep um, until 5 a.m. And then I looked at the clock and I was like, wow, it's 5 a.m. already. I think I should feed her. That's already longer than um, what she's used to um, but instead of just going and picking her up and feeding her I put in the pacifier and um, I just went back to my bed um, and I was like oh, you know what I think it's time for her to eat anyway but I'm just gonna go lay down a little bit and she fell asleep until like 6 50 and that's when we all woke up yeah so she made it like 11 and a half hours without eating and i'm completely shocked 
So that being said, I think I was, it was totally my fault that she wasn't able to sleep through the night till now. She totally could have put herself back to sleep if I gave her a couple minutes. Instead, I just picked her up right away and fed her because I thought she was hungry. Um, so that's my lesson that I learned. Yeah. But we'll see how it goes for the next couple days, or today at least. I'm gonna see if she can do the same schedule again. Hi everyone! Sorry you guys are standing on a random bookshelf because I have lost my tripod somewhere. But it has been a good two, three weeks since I um, last updated on her sleep training. And so I wanted to make a final update today. She is currently six months and a week old, I believe, and I'm going to be completely raw and honest with the progress and the result. I would say that since my last update, it's been amazing. Her progress um, went by really quickly, like she was able to go, be go to bed um, by herself within one to five minutes and her naps were getting longer and she was building like a consistent um, schedule with her napping and her bedtime everything continued to be the same and I think what really worked was that we really made a good bedtime routine for her I didn't necessarily made it um, at a certain time during the day at night but i made sure the, the steps were the same the steps to her bedtime were always go on a walk outside with our dogs or with my mother we would come back she would have some solid foods to eat of all purees of course and then we would quickly give her a bath since she's all dirty from her food and then we would um, get her dressed and then I would feed her, uh, I'd breastfeed her for the last time at night and we would read her a book and we turn off the lights um, during that whole process, turn on the sound machine and then we put her down and it was very smooth. She went down around 8 o'clock, 8.30 and she didn't wake up until at least or around 6 a.m. the next day and she did not eat um, it, and it was great I was like okay it's finally done um, I can finally get some rest at night but this couple days it's been really really bad she is now six months old and her teeth are coming in and she is going through the six month sleep regression and this time around it is way worse than the four month regression i think it's because she's really trying to crawl now she's on her forearms trying to wiggle back and forth and every time she's learning something big like that uh, the last time at four months it was when she was trying to roll over onto her stomach i think it really interrupts her sleep and she gets very fussy even throughout the day um and so that has been a setback for me and for her and so this is my final update right now it's pretty bad but i would say that it was a success and i'm really glad that i did this for her um and i think one advice i could give to any mom out there trying to sleep train their baby is i would do it when you're ready or when your baby is ready of course but i would start earlier than later um like i said earlier sorry she's trying to crawl and i don't want her to fall over um like i said earlier in the video i wanted to wait till six months and now that she's six months a lot of things are bothering her and she's not able to sleep as well and so that's my main reason I really wouldn't wait till they really start teething and having all these teeth come out and while well, they're in pain it's really hard to distinguish if they're in pain or if they're just crying to get you to soothe them to sleep 
So I think I really did it at a really good timing. I do not regret doing this sleep training at all. It has taught her so much. It has taught me so much too that she is capable of learning honestly anything. And it, besides the, the teething and all, her schedule was perfect for, for that two weeks or so. Um, she slept so much longer than just like short mini naps. And during the night, she was able to go back to sleep uh, without getting our help to go back to sleep, which is the main thing. I would even say that her daytime was better. She was a lot happier just because her nighttime sleep was so long and there was no interruptions for her. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, like documentary series. I'm so sorry that most of it is um, me talking and the quality of the video wasn't that great, but I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Say, whoa! Say bye! Your hair is crazy today. Are you gonna say bye? She knows what a camera is. She knows how to FaceTime people. <gasps> say bye bye. Good girl. You are being good girl. Good girl. Huh?